How you guys doing today? My name is Brian. I'm here to talk to you guys about how to build a mobile application prototype for free. A little bit of background about myself. I'm a mobile developer. have been for about a year now. But before this, I oftentimes had difficulty bringing my ideas to reality. Um, with new mobile experiences arising every single day, you think that this came from someone's mind. This was once an idea. And oftentimes, the difficulty that we have as being you know, idealists is bringing it to reality. A uh, few things about mobile development. You can spend up to $100,000 on a mobile application but have no idea if the application will succeed or not. So the best thing you can do is actually bring the attention to the idea before you can build it. Uh, the way you can do this is by building a prototype. It'll allow you to simulate the idea, allow someone to get real world experience and seeing what it can actually do, and allow you get some feedback for free. Um, you can actually build a mobile application with a lot of things you probably have, such as pencil and paper, as well as free resources such as model prototyping tools, which are available for free in the App Store. A few steps that are required in a mobile application you need to think about. One is the design. How will the application look? You know, your users are going to see the design first before they see how it actually works. So you should think about things such as minimalism, simplicity, and overall consumer behavior. The second thing you should think about is the user experience, which is the feel of the application. Unfortunately, because we're working with a prototype here and not actual hard code, we can't necessarily bring attention to the feel or the animations. But things we can pay attention to are things such as spring real estate, which is how large does the image be compared to the font size. We've all used applications before where we look at them and say, this is pretty ugly, you know, the font's not big enough, I can't read it, or the images are too small. Uh, the third thing you need uh, is pencil and paper. This will allow you to sketch out your ideas and bring them to reality um, in terms of visually. Um, and the fourth one, as mentioned before, mobile prototyping tool. This will allow you to input your screenshots or your sketches of your application, hyperlink the images associated with them, as well as allow you to run in a simulator so it feels like a real application. Every application is different for each market. You may consider an e-commerce application versus a social network such as Instagram. Each one of these has budgets set for different purposes and different layouts. You have to think about what's appropriate for your market and then design it based upon that. The good thing is, since we're using sketches here, if something's not working or something's having difficulty figuring out something, you can easily re-sketch the design and then put it back into a Marvel prototyping tool. The steps of creating a mobile application are pretty simple, but pretty expensive at the same time. For one, when sketching your mobile application interface, you have to think about all the things before, such as what is this going to be used for, where the buttons going to be laid out, and how are the images going to be laid out if there are any. The second thing you need to think of, or the second thing you need to do, is to lay out those buttons accordingly. These buttons are going to be what, I, what enables your user to tap through your simulation and to see exactly what the application should do when they tap certain areas of the screen. Another thing that you're going to need to do for Marvel Prototype Tool is to overall be able to share these pieces. <coughs> This is to be able to share these, uh, uh, these prototypes via uh, cloud servers. Um, what this will allow you to do is you can share, now share your prototypes with designers and developers which are going to lower your cost because they're no longer going to have to build your prototype for you. So we're going to run these quick steps real quick. For one, you're going to sketch out your design. Before you thought about what your market needed, now you're going to sketch it out. The second thing you're going to do is designate where these buttons would be at. So certain buttons like profile screen, camera icon, the search icon. Lay those out on the screen. The third thing you're going to do with the model prototyping tool is you're actually going to take pictures of screenshots of the images that you made and that you're going to hyperlink them to each other. This is going to allow you to actually take simple steps to actually achieve the idea to product. What you're going to do is when you open up the model application, they're going to run you through a tutorial. It's going to show you exactly how you actually take the, take the pictures, where to hyperlink, and then so forth. To hyperlink an image, all you're going to do is look at the sketch. On the screen of the application, you're going to drag your fingers over the area that you want to hyperlink, such as a button, and then you'll select link two. Link two will take you to the transition page, depending on whatever the screen is next. So if you're going from the profile screen to the search screen, you can choose different animations that allow the transition to see it as if it's a real application. And lastly, once you get that input using some Marvel prototyping tool, you're going to run the simulation. Here's where you're like, actually able to get the phone with somebody and allow them to say, hey, what do you think about this application? So to run through the steps and actually feel like, hey, this is a application, I like this about it, or I do not like this about it. Using those simple steps, you're now able to have a working prototype that you can show your friends, designers, and developers. What this saves you is cost, by the way, what this saves you is cost. As previously mentioned, mobile applications can run to $100,000 quickly before you even know if you have your first paying customer. What this allows you to do is garner interest early on, show designers and developers what you're trying to achieve and make, and then saving you cost money because you know it's been a time to win. So before you hire a designer, it's been 30, 40, 
$40 an hour, it's best that you take your sketches and bring them to life and see if people are actually interested in them. So one of the things I'll say is, we're making mobile applications for the next generation. What can we do to save costs on our end and put the best product in front of their faces in the process? Does anybody have any questions? So, you made that, right? Yes. Well, the first call, well, the first application I made, which was my canvas, I honestly was pretty hands off with it, which resulted in a much more expensive cost. I believe the cost was about $16,000 for the first mobile application, and that was with me doing my own wiring. One of the biggest mistakes I made was the fact that I didn't prototype the idea beforehand. Because I didn't prototype the idea, there were things that I built out of it that I had to end up doing more work in the future, which was thousands more dollars. And you have another app that I'm assuming. Yes, uh, the second application I've been working on is called Release. Um, I've done most of the work, if not all the work on that one. I've been using feedback along the way, which has really lowered the cost, lowered the amount of time that I've been wasting. Uh, well, not necessarily wasting, but it's been spending on building things that necessarily people don't have one or they're not comfortable using. Um, but overall, prototyping relates beforehand to saving thousands of dollars. A mobile application can take about eight to twelve months in the minimum. Um, depending on how expensive it is, if you're building with existing frameworks, existing frameworks, or if you decide to just go from scratch. I hear some applications like will be on the market for a really long time, and then all of a sudden they just quit. So like, you got to be patient with that. Yeah, I mean, you can really determine, which is really depends on your marketing efforts. So, like any software developer, you can put something out to the market. And Sit there, no one can find out about it. So, you have to be equally as good as a marketer as you do as a builder. Um, with, with prototyping, this actually reduces the barrier to entry because now average everyday individuals can show people what they want to build without having the technical know how to do so. Yeah. Right, I want to thank you guys for coming out today and listening to how to build a mobile application. Hopefully, I've showed you guys how you can reduce your cost uh, and show, or show people how you can bring your ideas.